Hi everybody, this is Chris Marshall. I'm uh, just recording this quick intro video to give you an idea of what we're heading towards here. What we're going to try to achieve is to set up a website which is going to rank um, for lots and lots of local terms across the country. So currently um, we're looking at something for the UK. Um, it's something that Mike and I set up back in the middle of December and the idea was we were trying to rank for personal trainer terms um, as quickly as possible on a local level. So for example, here's the uh, the homepage that you're looking at now, personal trainers Hollybush and around Staffordshire, the idea being that uh, we want to rank for personal trainers Hollybush, personal trainers Hollybush Staffordshire and so on and so forth. Now. The first objection I know that I'm going to hear is, well, and who's going to search for some of these tiny places? Um, and the answer is quite simply, very, very few people are going to search for them. What we're going to be doing, though, is blanketing an entire country with these pages. And uh, we're going to use duplicate content to do that. Now, I know uh, there's been several other people in OMG talking about this recently. Um, but uh, what I've been uh, talking to Mike and David about is getting this out to people because um, what I wanted to do was give people a way of doing this without the likes of uh, plugins like SERP Shaker and uh, give them a very easy and straightforward way of doing it which doesn't involve you know posting batches of articles uh, so you're doing 500 at a time over and over again or anything like that. Um, basically what I've got is a system which I've been using since about 2006, 2007 something like that um, to create these sites on a local um, basis and it just literally takes uh, preparing one article and uh, what our system will then do is actually farm it out to your WordPress site which is just a WordPress site um, so you're in complete control of it in the same way you would be with any other site you build um, you can promote it in exactly the same way as you would any other site um, apply the same things that Greg teaches us and uh, we're in complete control. So uh, let's have a quick look at this uh, in a little bit more detail. So uh, let's open a few of these articles. We've got Hollybush, Soldon, Northgate. Um, these are just places around the UK, just completely randomly happen to be at the top, nothing more. So what you'll see as we click through, you'll see exactly the same article. Do you need a personal trainer? This is the first question you should be asking yourself in the next one. Do you need a personal trainer? This is the first question you should be asking yourself. So these are absolute duplicates, with the exception that we've got a town name and a county name, which is the equivalent of a US state. Um, and that literally is the difference, that, that there will be... Uh, the uh, town and the county names as we go down the article um, just to make it uh, rank a little bit uh, better make it a little bit more um, um, sort of relevant to the local terms so uh, this particular article is actually complete duplicate content taken straight from e-zine articles the uh, the standard place if you like when you're looking for uh, easy content. Um, I would recommend that you use your own but just to show that this can work and does work uh, Mike and I chose to use an easy articles uh, page just to really really hammer home the message that you really don't need um, to worry about duplicate content uh, with these kinds of sites. So let's have a quick look. You'll, uh, you might see at the top here I've got my uh, SEO Quake um, toolbar you'll see up here we've got 17,200 pages indexed here and that's out of a total of around about 45,000. You'll also notice that we've got a domain authority of one and a page authority of one and hopefully that reinforces the point that we don't have any backlinks at all pointing to these sites. They can just rank entirely on their own. So if we take a quick look at some of these uh, in Google you'll see again 17,200 pages indexed so let's just pick a random one um, let's go to page 5 for example okay so uh, typically I've managed to uh, select one that's got lots of uh, pages uh, non-content pages so let's have a look at this one so we've got uh, Wareham in Norfolk we've got oh, Brundish in Suffolk let's try a couple of these and just see where they rank so Brundish Let's just search Google for that, and hopefully, there we go, number 9, with no links whatsoever, it's just ranking. Obviously we can do variations as well, personal trainers in Brundish, Suffolk, um, okay still number 9, just in Brundish on its own might drop a little bit, a bit less. Uh, Oh no, it's still number nine, so uh, that's a page one, just the first one that we've picked out at random. Um, K 
kill Somerset. Let's try that one. Personal trainers kill. Um, there we go. So we're ten, nine, eight, seven, number seven there. Put the Somerset on the end. We're up to number three. So you get the idea anyway. Um, something else that I'll point out at this, if in case it's not really obvious, is that this is not a particularly easy term. Personal trainers is obviously something that that you know that we're going to have out there. It's going to have uh, people working on SEO on it. So I just wanted to show that you can actually use something which uh, Mike actually chose this completely off the top of his head, um, and uh, you can actually get rankings very easily, even with an easy article. So now you've actually seen exactly what we're trying to achieve. So potentially forty-five thousand odd articles on this site, um, each one having the potential to rank on page one of Google with no backlinks whatsoever. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to go and set up a site in a bit like uh, Greg does over the shoulder, um, something that's much lower competition and then hopefully we'll be able to see just how well you can rank um, across an entire country um, for reasonably sized places rather than the little ones we're looking at here um, for a more competitive term. Um, just to give you an idea, we've got uh, our test sites that we've set up here, we're seeing hundreds of uh, visitors every day to some of them, so uh, the, um, the possibilities are quite large with this. Okay, I'll uh, end this video here and then uh, in the next one we'll start looking at how we can use the system. Right, let's get started with uh, how to use and set up these uh, local websites. Um, you'll see it's the uh, 21st of January here. I know uh, sometimes I look at the uh, OMG videos and wonder exactly when they've been recorded. So uh, hopefully that will um, give you an idea of how quickly we're going to rank with these. Okay, so uh, as you can see I've got the uh, who is uh, listings for a domain I've registered this morning, seymourbargains.co.uk. Um, this is going to be a sort of branded domain, um, a sort of slight joke on my part there, Seymour Bargains. This is going to be about a contact lens website. Um, it's uh, been registered today, as I say, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, you didn't think there was any sort of uh, strange things going on in the background. It's a brand new domain. As far as I know, uh, there's no uh, links pointing to this from previous registrations. I've had a quick look through and I can't see anything. So let's get started. So what I've done so far is I've just registered the domain and set up WordPress on it. It's a completely new install so uh, let's get going. Um, first thing I'll do is delete the uh, hello world post, get rid of it from the trash folder, get rid of the uh, sample page, also delete that from the trash folder to get rid of it. So uh, then we're ready to go. I also personally get rid of the two uh, default plugins as well. Uh, one thing I am going to do is add a plugin called Shortcoder because what this allows us to do is later on inject content into the articles so this will become a bit clearer later on. All you need to know for now though is I'm installing it. It's called Shortcoder, the first one that comes up. So let's just activate that. So as you can see, we've just got one plugin on the website. We've got just the default themes. This is the 2015 one, and obviously 2014, 2013 come as standard as well with WordPress. So what we're going to do, if we go back to the dashboard, um, is I've prepared an article so you don't have to watch this with me. And basically all I've got is the uh, standard stuff you put in WordPress. So your tags, your categories, title, and the article itself. Now what I recommend is, uh, in fact actually I've got a YouTube video here at the bottom as well, what I recommend is that you actually use the WordPress post editor to actually prepare your article so that you know it's going to look okay in WordPress. So what we're going to do is paste in the title. What I've actually done is written the article for Sheffield because I find that uh, particularly or a lot easier rather than using uh, short codes. So what I'm going to do is replace these actually before I get started. So in, in uh, Notepad I'll type in Sheffield and change it to pound pound city pound pound hash hash city hash hash if you're in the UK and South Yorkshire is our county or state if you're in the US and we're just going to replace that with hash hash county hash hash or pound pound county pound pound depending on what you call that symbol and then we're ready to go so we're just going to post that in there we 
go. In fact, actually, what you need to do is put it into the text side so that the uh, YouTube video comes up properly. There we go. And what we're then going to do is quickly format the article. Make the uh, subheadings into H2 tags. And in a moment I'll explain what those tags mean. Okay, so what's going to happen is we've got these uh, city and county tags. They're a bit like short codes in WordPress. So when our system actually goes out, what we're going to do is put this article into the system and it's actually going to change this for every article it posts. So for example, it will say something like need contact lenses in Sheffield, great South Yorkshire optician alternative, need contact lenses in Norwich, great uh, Norfolk optician uh, alternative. So um, in the uh, US you'll, you'll end up with need contact lenses in whatever the city name is, but Orlando, great Florida optician alternative. Um, so hopefully that's clear and what it's going to do is then substitute in the uh, city and county or state names um, in order for you to uh, get the, uh, the pages which will then rank in Google for those uh, local places. So hopefully that's clear. Um, what I'm also going to do quickly is just put some uh, quick images in. So let's just do add media. I've just uh, just picked up some quick images to use at a time here, so you don't have to watch me looking for them. Um, we'll do something just quickly. Uh, to make this look okay. Um, okay, there we go. Let's put eye drops on this one so they haven't all got contact lenses in so that we don't over optimize. links. I personally don't like it when uh, articles link to just the image within WordPress. Okay, that's fine. What I'm also going to do is just find a authority link of some description. Um, there we go, we've got some uh, some store names for the UK here, so let's just quickly grab their URL. There we go, Vision Express. Okay, so all we're doing is adding a couple of authority links in here, just as Greg would teach. Boots opticians, so we get an inner URL here. There we go. Just so that they're not all links to home pages. Okay, and finally, Optical Express. Okay, these just, uh, for those of you not in the UK, are just uh, some of the uh, big chain opticians here. I 
I'm hoping that you call them opticians in the States or wherever else you are in the world. Eye doctors. <laughs> okay. Uh, active view lenses, that's fine. Okay, so this looks good. Now, what we're going to do now is just go over to the text tab. Now, this is what we're actually going to post into the system, the, uh, the HTML code. Okay, so actually something I've just spotted, I've not set my permalinks up, so let's just go to settings permalinks and change this to post name. That'll just help us get the keywords in the URL. You'll notice that I've actually chosen a domain which is branded so there's no keywords in the URL just in case we accidentally over optimize. Um, okay, so what we're going to do next then, in fact let's just have another quick look here. What I haven't put in on at this stage is the tags and the categories. Now these relate just to the normal categories and tags section within WordPress but we're not going to add them here because our system is actually going to add these for us. So um, how I've gone about um, choosing my uh, categories and tags is I tend to aim for about eight tags and four categories and what I want to do is get the keyword in there plenty but also get a few which don't have um, the main keyword in so because we're going after contact lenses I've got things like lenses instead of lenses this one hasn't got contact or lenses it's got contacts but not contact it's got lenses but not contact and so on and so forth so I do try and vary it a little bit um, but by definition these these sites work because there's very little else to rank um, so uh, you should be okay with uh, being fairly keyword heavy in these. Okay and then the uh, categories uh, tend to be just the, the most relevant um, sort of headline terms if you like for your article so that the sort of the bigger terms that you're looking to rank for on a local level so uh, for example Sheffield contact lens um, Sheffield daily lenses, it could be Norwich coloured lenses, so on and so forth around the country. So hopefully, uh, although you're probably not going to rank for the big cities and towns, you might pick up a lot of these across the country without any inbound links at all um, for uh, some of the small counties, sorry, the small uh, towns uh, around the country that you choose. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Um, I do. I have uh, just uh, just to uh, show you where I've got these from. I've used the uh, last keyword tool from Network Empire to actually select these, so that I can actually see very clearly which my uh, which which keywords are which. So which ones have got the uh, which are pure diverse, partial diverse as they call them. So which have the main keywords in and which don't. Okay. So what we're going to do next? Um, I'm going to stop this video here before we actually go and post this. Uh, this article into the system just so that uh, the uh, articles as the uh, videos are sensible length and uh, we'll uh, pick up where we've left off in a few minutes. Okay let's uh, carry on with this series. Um, in the last video we looked at how to put our article together and uh, sort of build it in the WordPress editor. Note that we haven't uh, published it all we've done is just uh, use the editor to create it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually go into uh, the system itself which allows us to build these websites. So you'll be given the uh, the address to go to and um, given a way to sign up for uh, your accounts. You'll get five, uh, five credits automatically when you set your account up. So what we need to do first of all is connect our website to the system. So we're going to just click on add site and it's going to ask for our URL of WordPress, the username and the password. So I've got those here. So there's our URL, our WordPress username, and this is just your standard one, it could just be your the one that you set up um, when you set your WordPress blog up, however you install it. You could add another, um, another uh, user to your WordPress installation as well, um, just make sure that it's, uh, that it's one of the higher um, sort of access users, ideally an admin administrator, you can delete it again afterwards if, you, uh, if you're if you worried about uh, um, other people getting access to your blog, but it should be fine. So once you save that, just quickly click Test Connection to WordPress. Now what will happen is the system will then try and connect. So if we go back to our All Posts section, what you now should see is just this article saying this is your test post, and it's uh, actually posted as a uh, draft um, post so that it doesn't actually appear on your website or anything like that. It's just to make sure that we know that uh, everything's set up correctly and our system can actually access your WordPress blog to send the articles. So you can just trash that. 
once you know that it's uh, successfully posted. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to our um, article that we prepared in the last video and now we're ready to actually send it. So all we're going to do is click generate articles and just fill in the form. So all we do is take our title and put it in the title box and then take our article and put that into the article box. Okay you can then select where you want to uh, target in terms of the countries so I'll just use England, that's where I happen to be. And then I'm going to pick up my tags first of all and drop those in. It's comma separated, so each keyword, comma, keyword, comma, and so on. Categories, same principle. And then we're ready to go. So we're going to press Q them. And the system's then going to actually generate all however many articles, I think uh, for England we've got 30 something thousand. So this might take uh, a few seconds to work. And what will then happen is you'll actually get a confirmation page just telling you it's been successful. There we go. So uh, in about 10 minutes time, or any time in the next 10 minutes, you should start to see these posts being, in fact, they're there already, look, that quick. So uh, within a couple of minutes, we've started getting our uh, articles posted. So let's go to our homepage. And here we go, need contact lenses in Stoke by Nayland, great suffer competition alternative. So it really is that fast. So you can see the pictures have been populated as we put in using the WordPress editor. Um, our video should be down here, yep, there we go. And what you'll also notice, which some of you might have noticed in the intro video, is the articles are backdated as well. They're also forward dated to the end of the current year. So if we look here, we've actually got a few scheduled already. And what this will allow to happen is some of these um, some of these articles will actually not be published until uh, they reach their scheduled dates, which is later in the year. So you can see some of these aren't actually going to get published until December 2015. Um, but they are sort of evenly spread out throughout the year. Um, this just makes your uh, site get updated reasonably regularly over the uh, coming months. So that's the idea. Hopefully that was really straightforward. Um, if you were uh, if you've got any questions, uh, I think Mike and I are going to be doing a webinar on this uh, at some point in the future, so uh, you'll be able to speak to me uh, on that. Uh, alternatively, um, I'm sure uh, David will uh, um, ask me if there's any more uh, support videos that needed to be put up or if we need to do any uh, further support for whatever reason. So I hope that made sense. What I might do in a couple of days is uh, actually shoot another video to uh, show you the uh, rankings start to appear. But other than that, I hope you enjoy it and uh, use the link on the uh, page to sign up for your account. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, just something I forgot to mention just uh, before uh, I finished that last video was that we also have this queue section that's uh, on the uh, on the menu for uh, your website. Um, if you just click into that, what it will do is it will show how many articles are currently queued to go into your website. So if you just keep refreshing the page, what you'll see is they're coming down. And all, all this will help you to do is give you an idea of whether or not your site is finished um, and there's or whether there's more sort of articles to go into it. So I just wanted to add that so that you're aware, so that you weren't just sort of wondering what this number means. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you uh, to get started. Okay, I thought I'd have a little bit longer before I was shooting this next video, but uh, it uh, has turned out that we're about an hour and 10 minutes after uh, I shot the last video. I think that was about 11 o'clock on the uh, 21st of January. It's now nearly 10 past 12. Um, and uh, rather incredibly, it would appear that uh, not only have uh, we already had 1,200 pages indexed, but we're also ranking number two for, <laughs> for uh, things like contact lenses in uh, town, village, city, whatever it happens to be. So uh, hopefully that, uh, in fact, if we put Cumbria on the end of there, 
Um, we actually got a number one ranking I spotted as well, so uh, that was uh, rather uh, ridiculous how quickly that happened. That's not typical, I, I might add, before uh, anybody starts expecting this. So uh, I thought I'd uh, just shoot this another uh, video quickly to show you uh, where we're going to go next with this. Um, what this site's actually going to do is going to uh, promote an affiliate program, uh, which is this uh, this uh, merchant contact for lenses dot com. I think it is. Yep, um, they pay. Uh, I think it's eight percent, something like that, on uh, contact lenses uh, by post ordered through the internet. So what I'm going to do is quickly um, have a just pick up this affiliate link here. This is in Trade Doubler. This is one of the uh, UK affiliate networks. I'm sure uh, you'll have seen the training elsewhere in OMG for uh, the other options for how to find uh, it. So through Offer Vault or uh, ClickBank, whatever it happens to be. Um, but this is the one I've just happened to have chosen. So if we go back, um, one thing I did spot after uh, shooting the last video was that I forgot to mention uh, the shortcoder plugin again, which we uh, talked about when we were setting up uh, WordPress. Um, basically what this allows us to do is inject content into the articles once they're published on site. So uh, right now, um, you'll remember we had 30 something thousand, so in an hour we've published 10,000 or so uh, articles to the website. Um, if we go back to shortcoder though, um, I forget exactly what the uh, short code was we used, so let's just have a quick look. Open one of these articles up. In fact, the draft one will be the one that we uh, initially used. So what we can do now is, uh, here we go, so it was SC bottom affiliate link. So what we're going to do is go to short coder. We're going to create one called bottom affiliate link whoops link okay so that will then match this one here so if I just um, here we go let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on here we go SC stands for short coder colon bottom affiliate link so bottom affiliate link is the name of the short code we're going to add so here we are going to add it, and that's the uh, affiliate link that I picked up from Trade Doubler. Okay, so if we click Create Short Code, and then go to the website, what we're going to see if we scroll down, let's click into one of these. Fantastic name of a place there, Gussie Jewel Saints. Okay, and right down the bottom here we've now got um, find out how much you could save by buying your lenses and related items such as contact lens solution at contact for lenses. Click here. So if we click on that, what you'll see over here is that goes over to the merchant site and whenever somebody buys something from here I'll get 8% or up to 8% depending on how many I sell. So hopefully that uh, clears up any questions you might have had about short coder that I forgot to mention. Hopefully it will also give you an idea of how quickly uh, this can actually rank. So, uh, you know, let's try a couple more of these while we're here just to see if it was a fluke. Um, Berry Cross, so that's the second one. Uh, let's do contact lenses in Berry Cross. Okay, number one. So again, you could add Devon on the end, which is the county name. Okay, let's try another one, Parkhead in Cornwall. Parkhead, so there we go, so one, two, three, four, five. Number two, if we put the county on the end, so that would be equivalent to city-state in uh, America. Little Bardfield, Essex. Number three, and number one with the county on the end. So you can see we've got a lot of very high rankings very quickly um, within, well, probably within an hour, but just over an hour to the point I'm shooting this video. Um, so hopefully that should give you an idea of how easy it is and how fast it is to rank. So uh, I'll uh, stop this one here, fire it over to David with the other videos. And uh, if you've got any questions, I'm in the Facebook group.